Hello and welcome to another installment of the New Visions Cloud Lab video series brought to you by the School Tools and Systems team here at New Visions for Public Schools. Uh, my name is Jared Carano and today we're going to go over setting up Google Apps Vault on your school's Google domain. So what is Google Vault? It's an add-on that you purchase through the Google Apps Marketplace that lets you retain all the emails sent on your domain indefinitely, even if the user that sent or received them deletes them from their inbox. It also allows you to search through any emails sent on the domain. So why is this useful in a school? Well, a big reason is to assist in the event of an investigation. Say a student accuses a teacher of sending them inappropriate emails, Vault allows you to know with certainty whether or not those emails were sent. Similarly, Vault can allow schools to quickly investigate potential cases of cyberbullying between students. A second reason, which is maybe more of a nice thing to have, is if a staff member accidentally deletes an important email from their own Gmail account, it can be recovered via Vault. Uh, I should add here uh, that for those of you who are uh, representing schools within the New Visions network, network, for the next year at least, New Visions has purchased Vault for you. So, okay, let's dive in. The first step is to make sure Vault is actually turned on for all of your school's users. So after you log into your Google Admin panel, uh, and you can do this by simply typing admin.google.com into your address bar and logging in, uh, you will see your main dashboard. From the dashboard, you're going to want to click on the Google Apps icon. Um, you'll see a list of Google's core apps there, and scroll down until you see Vault, and make sure that it says on for everyone. If you don't see it here, uh, email your systems team point person at New Visions and let them know. Uh, we will uh, need to ask Google to turn it on for your domain. If you do see it but it's not currently on for everyone, click on the uh, click on Vault to enter its settings page. Uh, under the Vault icon, click on the drop-down menu and click on for everyone. Uh, the next step will be to assign Vault licenses to each of your users. Vault will only retain emails for, uh, for users that have licenses. So to do this, uh, we want to navigate to the billing section of the site. Uh, you can do this by clicking on the quick navigation drop-down, uh, selecting billing, and um, on the billing page, you should see Google Vault and over on the right will be a little key in a circle so click on this the page that comes up uh, you should see three tabs assigned users and assigned to users and manage licenses so click on manage licenses and then click on the checkbox for auto assign the following licenses to all currently unassigned users and users subsequently created uh, and click save changes this will ensure that all uh, current and future users will be covered by Vault. Uh, while we're here, I should uh, uh, we should check on one other thing. To the right of where it says Google Apps Vault, you will see a fraction. Uh, the first number is the number of licenses currently assigned. The second number in the denominator is the number of licenses available. So this number should be one million if you're um, in a New Vision school. If it's not, email your New Vision system team point person and let them know. We will need to ask Google to give you more licenses. Okay, the, the next thing we need to do is to make sure you're using the old version of Google Talk. Uh, this is because Vault does not currently provide retention of things like chat messages sent in the new version of Talk. It does, however, retain them in the old version, so um, Google, Google is updating this, but for the time being, we want to make sure that we're using the old Talk. So click on your navigation drop-down again, and click on Google Apps, and then uh, navigate down to the Talk uh, Hangouts and click on it. So on the Talk Hangouts page, you're going to click on Advanced Settings, where you will navigate down to where you see a setting that says, do not enable the new Hangouts and keep my existing settings. Click on the little radio button, which will turn the panel yellow, and, uh, and a Save Changes button will pop up. So click that to save. Okay, we're almost finished. We have assigned licenses to all users and made sure we're using the old Talk. Now we need to actually sign into Vault and set it up to retain emails. 
So in the black navigation bar across the top of your screen, click on More. Down toward the bottom, you should see Vault. Click that. And this is going to pull up the actual Vault app. So over on the left side, you'll see the, a link for retention. Click that, which will uh, cause a button to pop up that says Modify Default Retention Period, which you also want to click. This will pull up another pop-up box uh, with the retention settings, so click on Retain Data Indefinitely. That's it. Congratulations, you have successfully set up Google Vault. You can sleep soundly at night knowing that a record of all emails sent on your domain will be retained. Um, before we end, however, there are a few things we should probably consider. Um, the first is that any super admin on your domain will, by default, have access to Google Vault. So this means that they will have the ability to search through and read any email sent on your domain. The second is to know that any searches conducted in Vault will leave behind their own audit trail. So this means that you can easily see whether or not any super admin has uh, conducted one of these searches. Uh, so this is just something that your principals should be made aware of. Google gives you a great deal of ability to manage which users can view which type of information. So you can create a custom admin role that give, gives exactly the amount of privileges you want um, to, to any given user. But just, just be aware that by default, super admins have access to Google Vault. Uh, if you want to set up a custom admin role, email your New Vision Systems team point person, and uh, we can help you with that. Okay, that's it. Hopefully this was helpful, and thank you for watching.